stimulants. Uh. Like, help Please subscribe and like and comment to allow help share this content. Hello, YouTubers. I'm here with Commander Valak, leader, uh, leader, uh, fearless leader of another BSG uh, YouTube channel. Uh, Hello. Valak is a East Coaster. I was born in Connecticut. I uh, I was born in Hartford, Connecticut, so I like the East Coast, and I understand when he complains about the weather, as he did several times this, this past <laughs> winter and spring. Because, uh, as they say in 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 Boston, actually they say in Chicago too, if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes, it'll change. We're kind of trying to change the weather for a Cylon fleet. Um, we're recording on April 21st, 2020, 2024, and... Um, I just heard a good yoke. Uh, it's not going to be a new, new joke now because this is not going to air until uh, mid-August. Um, <laughs> two days ago, the president of Iran was ki killed in an unfortunate accident. Uh, his uh, 1971 built uh, U.S.-made Huey helicopter went down because he decided he needed to fly home from a meeting in zero visibility uh, in stormy weather. Naturally, that's uh, that's the United States' fault. That's been blamed on the great Satan, but it's a direct, actually, meaning maybe... Uh, choice of a 1971 helicopter was not the best of choices. Uh, a joke. The uh, the IAF uh, let, were telling jokes basically on on, on the flight line. Uh, say, uh, talk the story up about Ellie Copter uh, getting the uh, credit for the kill in the, in the Israeli Air Force on the Iranian president's uh, helicopter. Uh, that's a play on the word helicopter. Uh, it, uh, Hamas picked it up uh, uh, on short on short range uh, communications when it started going onto the Israeli cellular network, and it made the AP wire before anybody realized it was a joke. It's hilarious, though. I was, I've been cracking up ever since I heard it. <laughs> People won't believe anything, especially if the AP wire runs it, right? Basically. Hilarious. Anyway, uh, I've picked the Tempest map. Um, I haven't decided which silent fleet we're going to face. It's going to be 16K because I'm out of practice. I have been shooting for Friday, May 24th's finale of Book 3, and I got a really, I got 35 minutes of really kick-ass footage out there ready to roll uh, when uh, when uh, a character says, uh, turn to port, uh, the Battle Star actually turns to port. It's uh, pretty amazing. Okay, um, gotta get. The, uh, uh, that's not the fleet I want. Um, where's mid mid? All right, um, zero zero one e. Um, all right, I guess I'll go for mid right then, because <laughs> I can't find what the fleet I chose for this battle. And let's see, modern base star hacking, that'll give us some trouble. I am going at this with a, uh, my current go-to uh, uh, go to co-op fleet. It is a Mercury and two Jupiter 1s. Yes, I have admitted the Jupiter 1 into my fleet roster, finally, because I couldn't fit this fleet with a Mercury, <laughs> a Jupiter 2, uh, and another big battle star. So I wanted three big heavy hitters. We're not fast, but we are awesome and heavy, and our air wing holds up quite nicely. Uh, so, uh, and you should see what happened when, when the Cylons are flying their air wing at this guy and the, and the two Jupiters broadside the air wing. It is like shooting fish in a barrel. And hopefully you'll see that in this match. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. I know that uh, I have not been present and accounted for. That's due to the premiere of the uh, uh, finale of uh, Battlestar Mercury uh, Book 3 Logistics. There is, I, I'm not supposed to say this, my creative team says don't admit this, but there is a cliffhanger. You're gonna have to. Uh... There's, there's a bit of a cliffhanger there. Uh, we intend to stop stop weekly publication on May 24th, and return to May publication uh, either for sure the week of Labor Day, September September 2nd, uh, and 
Oh, God, this fleet's not turning the, turning correctly. It's not configured for a turn. Oh, well. Let's figure out where the enemy is. Oh, I like this fleet. This is cool. All right. All right, you've, uh, if you veer to your left a little bit, you'll be completely protected by the uh, rocks. They'll fire missiles at you. They'll waste ammo big time, but they won't, it won't hurt you at all. I'm putting out a big spread of PCMs. I don't have any Raptors. I, sp I specifically go at this fleet without any regular Raptors, so I can't easily disarm mines. That makes it more challenging. Roger, Dodger. And I don't tell the person I'm setting the game up for either, because I want it to be a big, I want it to be a fun surprise. Did you like the surprise? It is nice. Control A Z. That's all I can do. I got that ready in 168 seconds. Despair. End turn. Oh, I forgot to adjust my. Oh, I see a Jupiter one in your fleet too. Nice. Oh, I meant if you veer. Yeah, okay, you veered right. Even though I, okay, whatever. <laughs> Enjoy your veer. Ah, uh, yes, Colonel V is. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, when I got the Star Wars reference, sir. Yeah, I'm trying to rearrange my rearrange my fleet uh, in order to have the Jupiter One on the bottom be the lowest battle, lowest ship. Uh, but the uh, Cylons. They seem to have a little problem with this map. The AI is not very good at, at navigating it, to put it mildly. <laughs> They're trying the best, Captain. All right, I'm going to pull my air wing back in hopes of uh, the Cylons will accept my invitation to fly through some nasty flak. Control 2. <laughs> Defend that. Raptor, where's the Raptor? I'm going to defend that Raptor. And the Mark 7s are going to defend the other Raptor. This thing would be awesome if I, if I could have figured out a way to get a Jupiter 2 into it. But in order to do that, I have to, I, I, I'm have i stuck with my third ship being an Artemis or a, a Minerva. And that just doesn't work with this kind of armor heavy. I like your gunship fleet. That looks nasty. You're going to give the Cylons a, a, a major case of heartburn. Cylon heartburn. Got to like that, right? Yes, sir. And I have in two turns rearranged my fleet into a stack the way I wanted the stack to look. <laughs> All right. I'm going to pull the air wing back. And hopefully invite the Cylon Airwing for a free tour of the Flak Engagement Zone. Now, when I fly this against oh, the we got the less friendly uh, asteroid belt. Um, yeah, I was looking for an asteroid to coll to have a collision scene with. I didn't think of I didn't think of this one, but. I see right up there to your left and high. That's that's a nice set of asteroids I could have done it could have arranged a collision with. I eventually went back to a threatened collision with the sun storyline because I couldn't find a, a, a an asteroid that worked for me. Well, I crashed into a couple of asteroids and that didn't that didn't end well for me. <laughs> a couple a couple of different asteroid crashes just to test things, you know. No. Oh my. There they are they are firing missiles at me. They are they are trying to engage me and make me disappear. I wish them luck. I will be your flak battery ram, sir. Got it. I've actually learned how to do squiggly little turns in this thing. What what is he shooting at? Is it shooting at me? All right. Yeah. Wait 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 wait. What are those vipers doing out there? Vipers, follow your orders. Defend the raptor, you idiots. What are they, they're out. 
Yeah, I don't know. My, my CAG has a lot of chutzpah. She just does whatever she wants. Orders? Orders? What are, orders? Smorders? Orders? Smorders? Yeah, typical. There's Cylons over there, and I'm going to blow them up. <laughs> reminds me of my wife, actually. Okay, I'm going to... Oh, I hope your wife doesn't see this recording, then. <laughs> She has yet to look at an episode of Battlestar Mercury, uh, although I, I've asked her to like my Facebook post that I'm using to promote the video this week. Yes, I will be shamelessly promoting the story in every way and releasing one-minute videos and promos up until midnight on Thursday, except when I'm playing Battlestar Galactica Deadlock with Valak. Or whoever else wants to play. Bing! Oi. Oops, so this has got through. Alright, I've got a... Oh god, I've got, an astro uh, I've got a collision problem with an asteroid. That sucks to be me. Gotta spin the wheel. Spin the wheel, helmsman. Alright. And we set up a right flak. We're gonna try and melt them. All guns concentrating on the nearby f uh, war driver. Go full defensive on that. Air wing is successfully pulled back. What is that? That's the Cylons Raider Squadron. Who cares about the Cylon Raider Squadron? Let's deploy some PCMs. On it, Commander. Okay, I'm deploying a PCM to protect your fleet. I'm on it, Commander. I got the asteroid cloud to protect me, honestly. Yeah, that's true. Um, I think we're going to wear their air wing out pretty quick here, but we'll see. I just got to avoid colliding with a 300, 400 million metric ton asteroid. Um, yeah. do I, do, oh, do just our, to... you know, Tuesday. What, what? Just another Tuesday in the fleet. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. Uh, my <laughs> Avoiding airway, collisions. My airway got a little scuffed here. All right, next turn, these two Raider squadrons are sneaking around. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hammer them. This is why the Artemis has an exposed control bridge, just so that way that they can see the asteroids before they hit them. <laughs> there you go. Oh, looks like the uh, Cylon Raiders are going for the Jupiter 2 or something. There's Jupiter 1. All right. I've got another collision problem. I've got a... Dude, that's a bad collision problem. Oh, that's a teeny little rock there. Got to get around that. It would be helpful if I, could, if I could move my fleet up, but I really can't move this fleet up right now. Okay. Oh, I see you've got some Vipers out there, too. All right. Um, I would. It would be helpful if we were to move our fighters, draw a line between through the Cylon Raider, basically just get behind and high, a little above my Mercury and, and behind it by... Uh, careful, modern war drivers are starting to come in. Yeah, I'm melting Modern them. Raiders. I'm melting them. Uh, well, this this one here, it's over to the. Well, actually, you got a cross. You you have a what do you call it? A broadside on that. Why don't you see if if you can full power one of your guns and just wipe them out? Yeah, they're already working on it. All right, I'm gonna put my guns on another war driver because I don't like war drivers. They they kind of piss me off. They are definitely an annoying little ship. Yes, and I, I don't like. I doing... still think the Phobos is honestly more annoying than them. Oh, yeah, Phobos is a great jump system too. That's the, that's the good thing about that. All right. Uh, yeah. Control three. I'm gonna land yes, my man. wounded squadron and fix it up. Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh, somebody tried to jump. Oh, oh. that's a Phobos. Hello there. You mentioned a Phobos, and it came! It unfortunately came right into the middle of the fleet. I got 
I got guns on it. I wouldn't worry too much about it. I got to figure out how to save my Jupiter One from an asteroid collision. It's not. It's looking nasty here. You'll you'll be fine, probably. Yeah, unfortunately, I think I I think I I, I actually slammed into the little bugger. All right, I'm going to minimize my propulsion. All right, where is the asteroid I'm colliding with? All right, we'll try something else. So say we all. Uh, I got it. I managed to. I managed to avoid it, but that 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 Atlante is in deep deep doo doo. Ah, my squadron got killed. Oh, that's because that's a bunch of raiders. Deep doo doo. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit them with. Uh... Yeah, a bunch of the raiders got there. All right, I'm gonna attack them right now. H. Bam. And that's gonna be the. Marks, marks, seven squadrons. H. And that's gonna be the remaining mark. Two squadrons. Got it. And let's see what I can do to flack these guys. All right. Yes, sir. All right. I'm gonna go left. This poor Phobos is probably regretting his life decisions right now. Yeah, he's gonna be eating a pile yeah. of bullets. Uh, he already has lost his full frontal armor. Oh, my heart beats worse for him. He did not live very long. Yeah, less than six seconds. <laughs> All right, I am in the process of uh, whipping my my Mercury around like a baseball bat, slamming the enemy, and now I'm turning back, and I'm trying to deal with some nasty little. Yes, Commander. War drivers. No solution there, but I'll get a solution. Right, let's just flack left. Yep, that's not going to get him, but it, it's it'll be fine. It'll be fine, he says. <laughs> yes, Commander. All right. Alright, I'm gonna go that way with Deploying countermeasures. Oh, Squadron did land did manage to land with zero hull points. That was interesting. I thought it died. I must not have I'm getting hacked. Right, there is a nemesis now having its field day with hacking. His one and only job in life. <laughs> right. Just like I did it, I got close enough to poke him with the stick. This is good. We should poke them with the stick quite regularly. H. I'm going full power with the Mercury. And he's going to try and melt. Unlimited a... power! Ah, uh, yes, you've got those sound effects. You should fire some of those off, too. All right. I, I really, really want me to. <laughs> Man. All right, I'm doing a long-range torpedo shot and something in the way back. Yeah, there we go. We got that. that that's the Valak I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Right, uh, Bruh. right, all right, we're taking that, all right, what are the Mark 7s attacking? Um, wow, well, there's a lot of... Scramble out fighters! I still remember that scene with Baltar, and uh, he's 
bearing down in a, in a raid around the on the Galactica. I really think you should look at the other battle star. That was one of the most humorous lines, in my opinion, in the history of television. I'm going to switch these guys to another target. Is it two 22s? No, okay, I'm going to take this guy. Yes, sir. And all right, we're going to run away, but at the same time, we're going to paint. Run away. Same time, we're going to paint. And it's pouring rain and lightning and thundering here. <laughs> it was doing that earlier here. Normally, you get our weather two days later in <laughs> New England. It seems that the weather seems to have gotten itself first knuckled a little here. It's confused. Okay, I've cleared the asteroid field and I'm going into formation and I am going flak everything right. And I am trying to take out the last of the Mohegans, the last. And they really, they really love their hacking. Yeah, this fleet <laughs> likes to hack. It, 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 it. You have a Phobos closing the range. Yeah, I'll, divert, I'll broadside him with, 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 see what I can do, broadside him. Uh, careful having cleared the asteroids because they are going to unleash a salvo of torpedoes. Yeah, I've got the flak up. I should be, should be okay. All right. Turn in the fleet to get a good 90 degree so angle. Good. Yeah, the asteroids messed up my fleet formation pretty badly, but it's okay. He's fine. All right. Mark 7 Squadron is going to do an emergency landing. Control 3, emergency landing. You guys are going to defend him. Defend. Oh, there's a new Clive in the water. Where's the nuke? Front side. And straight for you. Oh, well, look at that. That was rather rude. There we go. All right, I'm going to have to deal with that. How am I going to deal with it? I'm going to <laughs> take the upper Jupiter 2. Yes, come Jupiter I swear, one. you bring me along just to identify nukes. <laughs> yes, Commander. All right. Is that a big flashy thing? No, that's a star. What about that one? That's our nuke heading straight for us. <laughs> well, I'm so glad you noticed it because I sure as hell didn't notice it. Flag right. I want to turn the entire fleet actually so that the formation gets maintained. You know, for an asset that they don't ever really expect you to stare at, uh, the nuke is fairly well detailed. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I stared at it once in a while. Oh, there's the nuke. I think it's going to hit an... Don't you think that nuke is going to hit? It's no, it'll hit. clear the asteroid. Yeah, you think so? Okay. It's got enough clearance. Well, let's find out. Trying to figure out where it's going is the other thing. It's not really well, angled well. Um, It looks like it is headed... Uh, straight for the Battlestar Atlantia. It's flying straight and level, and I think that's what's going to happen. And turn. Oh, it hit the asteroid. Nice, Cylons! Oh, nope, that was a cluster move. Oh, nasty. I got hit by something. That nasty. explains why it didn't look like it was on target. <laughs> it it, it yeah. didn't need to be. <laughs>
<laughs> it right. made a bunch of little friends. Well, the Atlantean no longer has any right side armor. All right, and we're getting hacked beyond belief. We're going to turn this fleet around and do a crash turn to port. Hard to port, everybody. Emergency. Now, Emergency now, now. Turn. Emergency turn, everyone. And I'm hoping to bulldoze the uh, Phobos with the offensive guns of the, of the Mercury. Recall the Raptor. And let's see if I can get let's see if I can get a shot. Uh, yeah, all right, this is good. X. Let's let's make the Phobos hurt extra hard, okay? Then we'll paint it too, and it's out of range. All right. The Mark Seven Squadron is doing relatively well, and it's taken out. All right, it looks like we've taken care of most of the. Uh, war drivers, that's good. We're getting hacked and we're doing a crash turn. I hope they don't hack our flag. Hacking a flag, hacking hack, flag hack, flag hack. <laughs> oh, now we're, now we're firing uh, heavy guns straight up oh, the... Those are Phobos. modern war drivers. Hello there, gentlemen. Would you like to meet our uh, many guns that haven't had many targets to shoot at yet today? They would be very excited to shoot at you. <laughs> I, I, I think that's, a, that's an excellent, excellent idea. Since we've won the air war, I'm going to take my whole air wing and go after the second Phobos. Actually, I'm going to go after the first Phobos. And make sure it dies. It's really important we that we get the confirmed squadron target. That we get this the thing stop. We stop it from continuing to hack us. Yes. And the damage. All right. All right. We're gonna we got a good broadside shot. The nemesis. And I think we've got PC, we've got we're getting hacked beyond belief here. Yes, sir. Fix the uh, I can't fix the armory. Let's do that. <coughs> Deploying countermeasures. All right. Okay, Phobos has got torpedoes. They're ready to fire. Both Phobos has torpedoes ready to fire. I don't think he's going to fire at me if it was from his tailpipe, but I've been wrong before. Mm. Hey, fire from his tailpipe. Took care of most of it with PCM, the rest with flak. Ooh, nasty. That Phobos is melted. I think we got him. You do appear to be dead. My arm is offline on one of my ships. I'll have to fix the... Oh, hell. Looks like my entire ship is offline. I'm on it, Commander. Alright, but we, we got strong armor facing. We're good. We've got Vipers back on the deck. And we've got the Mercury firing... Full offensive, and let's see what we can do about. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Most of our flak is offline. I think that the Phobos is about to have a really bad day. More than likely. He wasn't supposed to get into that range. <laughs> Jumped in. These no, guys are playing over there. These guys are playing he's rough. He's just now within range. <laughs> Carefully, he's got some virus mines loaded. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put some guns on him, try and make him go away. Um, I, and I can put, I, I can actually switch to hangar, flak left, 
and target defensive guns. I uh, we're still dealing with Mr. Phobos. Phobos needs some more TLC. Just a little bit more, you know. Gotta get in that good elbow grease. All right, I've got no navigation on the uh, Atlantia, so I'm gonna just flack to keep whatever the hell the uh, Argos has planned for me from getting too close. I love those reloadable nukes. It's like I love the I love thinking about the concept of the little brown Cylon UPS truck. <laughs> Uh, I don't know where the balancing idea was for this uh, thing, where it was just like, oh yeah, it can just launch constantly launch nuclear weapons. Damn, there's some serious lightning happening here. Especially if a clipper with a cluster nuke. Jesus. Yep. See? Recall. Squadron's getting a little beat up, but... Uh... Life is good, and I've got squadrons repairing in the bay. Janice class in a nutshell. Look at me, D. We use nukes for everything. <laughs> hey, there's something to be said for nukes. Uh, I can't. I should have navigation issues. I cannot navigate it. Ooh, thunder hitting. Stop hacking my internal subsystems, please. No. We like hacking Next subsystems. Reloaded, by That's the what way. we do. What's preloaded? Oh, the nuke is ready to fire? Yeah. Nuke yeah. All right, uh, I'll continue flacky. I'm going to just try and tear this guy apart uh, in one turn here. Okay, tick, tick. Yeah, Argos is my next target. Everybody's cancel flack left. And the air wing, my air wing's off on an adventure. Recall. On another grand adventure. Good. All right, Argos is spinning. He's trying a nuke into an asteroid. I like this map. <laughs> <laughs> He's really dulling his teeth on this boy. Missile threat is gone. I'm going to go full offensive on everything and see if I can make an Argos disappear. Right. H. 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 All right. It can only reach that ship. All right. Got damage. Damage control teams to the hangar bay. Oh, fire Again. Control. Fire control's down. To, uh, yeah, fire control's down. Navigation's fixed enough. We're going to start fixing fire control because we like shooting things. Shooting things is the thing we do best. Yeah, put that on the Argos in case he gets another nuke. Yes, sir. 
Oh, missiles. Argos. Smack him up. Oh, he's like lathering on these virus mines. He's trying to hack me again. Yeah, they do tend to do that. What's your problem? What'd I do to you? You invented us. You made us your slaves. You let that crazy teenager take over our bodies. Uh, longer is the reasons. Not today, cracker. Argos is dead. I'm on it, Commander. All right, we got. Uh, uh, I guess we've got two short serves to deal with. I'll send the air wing off uh, to deal with. Uh, the long range stuff and get us recon. All right, let's turn off the flak. Pencil flak. Fix System the armory. Gonna fix fire control. Maybe you ought to try doing it full defensive, so it actually gets fixed. So say we all. Maybe, just maybe. I am having trouble with these asteroids. I, I like, I like boxed in like uh, I'm flying a Mercury, like it's the Millennium Falcon here. Dodging yeah, and weaving, fine. it's not working out. Okay. It'll be fine. I want this guy. Alright. Uh, this flak turned off on all three ships. No, it's not. Do that. Alright, I can't do that. Um, I'm fixing hangar. Oh, the hangar's broken. Alright, that's fine. Um, One. And head out to the wild blue yonder and identify some targets. You got the right one, I'll take the left one. Got it. All right. Uh oh, then he's getting hammered. Yeah, I don't think she's long for this world. I can save her. I gotta take care, take care of this this. Uh... Oh, it's an Argos. That's nasty. He must have been the one that just... The, oh, he also has nukes. That's fine. I'm going to take the... It's loaded. <laughs> um, I'm assign the Mark what, two Vipers to defensive and nuke interception. Semicolon. Do that. You have to save the Atlantia. That's going to be hard. Solaria. Yes, Commander. Man, I just can't find it. I, 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 I... All right. Twelve hull points there. All right. How do you like your new sunroof? 
Sarah, they probably don't appreciate the sunroof. Oh, they ought to. It's, they're getting a really great price on it. Ah, lost the Atlantia. Darn. That was just bad tactics on my part. I could do better. Oh, we almost did this without losing a ship. Yeah, alright. I've got a big rock I'm trying to avoid. I'm on it, Commander. And that's good, and... All good in the neighborhood. Well, this PCM I'm carrying, I should be able to... Wow, lightning's getting... Let's get this game over with before we DC. Ease. And they're just throwing virus mines everywhere. Yeah, they got a lot of them. I like this fleet, it makes it hard to, it's hard to beat. All right, two serves in a turn. I like I, I like that productivity a lot. Oh, there's the modern base star with only virus mines left. <laughs> Damn. Of course. Well, oh, and I got a nuke headed my way from the Argos. Seems that my air wing missed it. Yeah, they're trying. Oh, they they actually they they actually have a beat on it. They should be okay. Of course, it's probably aimed at the, at, the, at the Atlantia anyway. No, it's actually aimed at, right up the tailpipe of the Solaria. Right, as a precaution, we will flak left. All right, I'm going to stop that repair and go back to repairing the hangar. On it, go full defensive and each flak left. And turn on targeting, thingy jiggies, and life is good. Missiles incoming. Go, go, go. Oh, he sent the torpedo to make. Oh, cluster nuke. I don't like that. Oh, goodbye. Got him. Get him. Get him. Okay. Repair the armory. Ship on automatic. If I can get the Mercury out of the asteroid field, it can actually do some work. Oh, we're installing a downward facing sunroof on the Argos as we speak. Life is Wonderful. I lost the squadron on that battle starter went down. That's not good. And turn. Missiles incoming. Yeah, you can go for that fire control, dude. We bad, we bad. <laughs> yes, Commander. Launch Raptors. PCM. And fire. All batteries at the. Why is it shooting the base star? Because it has a firing solution. That's why it's. <laughs> Game's not totally stupid. It has a firing solution. That's why it's firing. <laughs> he managed to get all his 
Uh, virus runs out the door. That's annoying. He's doing his best. <laughs> He's working hard, hardly working. All right, I'm going to fire some missiles down at somebody. That's not going to work. Let's install a new sunroof on the Argos. Yes, this will be facing left. Subsystem is back online. Okay, we're puncturing the base star very nicely. Well, wow, there's like mines and PCM pollution everywhere. Yeah. All right, I got a firing solution on the. We're not a we're not a very economic, like environmentally friendly group. <laughs> Just gonna leave all these out here, and some poor, like freighter captains, just gonna end up getting a lot of unfun times ahead. He's gonna think this is like some safe route to go through to avoid Cylons get hit by a virus mine. <laughs> uh. Salvo launch ready. Well, my fighters are taking apart the uh, Argos bit by bit. Oh, there's a bit of the uh, Atlantia still floating around. Some bits and bobs. That's nice. It'll be like the Arizona. It'll be a war memorial. Uh, anytime I think of war memorials, all I can think is of his uh, Impala with Private Kowalski. Oh, I've got like, <laughs> I've got this huge line of virus mines that they're trying to split me open. And the Cylon regenerated back to 280. Alright, let's... All right, let's get rid of the nemesis. I should, I should have fighters take care of that. It blew up. <laughs> this, is, this is good. Remember, this is, the top guns are better on the... Uh, Jupiter 1, so let's light up a base star. He's got all of his ammunition out the door. Yes, Commander. Fire torpedoes. Those marks the twos, they just eat the nukes like popcorn. It's awesome. <laughs> Alright, Argos is going to do us a favor and die this turn. Okay. Ending my turn. That's what turns around. I got ready faster than you. That's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, what's that? The piece of the Is that a flight pod? Probably. 
Yep, it's a flight pod. I wonder if it has the name of the ship on it. No, they went generic with it when they got destroyed. That's that's nice though. It's 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 pretty scorched up. Wait a minute. He is nice. Who's who's still alive? The base started to die. Yeah. So say we all. It blew up. Oh, this looks just the modern base star. Yeah, the modern base star. Okay. Okay, are we calling the Vipers? Vipers does it look good on camera. Recall. 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 So we all. Recall. Can't recall the Vipers off the mark of the Atlantia because they can't land. Man, he's dead. That was messy but fun. That's the name of the video, too. <laughs> I assume you don't have time for another one. As you usually no, do no, unfortunately not. All right, uh, let's talk off off recording about well, which day we want to do a live feed and when. Let me turn off the microphone here. <laughs> Some conversations and uh, irritate my viewers, and they complain about it. They actually reached out to me and said you shouldn't talk about certain things. <laughs> 